What's good, fam? Welcome back to the Russell Muscle YouTube channel. As y'all can see in Walmart right now, it's our daughter's birthday. But today I'm gonna be cutting glass in another Hellcat hood that got coming up from Florida. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, that thing nasty in person. Bro came all the way from Florida. What part of Florida you came from? My Tampa. It's Dade City, but you know, most people don't know Dade City. It's the country. Oh yeah. But you know, most people know Tampa, in the middle of Tampa and Orlando. Yeah, and what crazy is, I went down to Tampa to get this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man, that's the Instagram right there. Underscore Hemi J. YouTube coming back soon. Got a car club. Yeah, what the car club about you is? It's underscore Hemi Camp. So if y'all go to that page, I got a link in the, in the bio. Yeah, we about to go on and knock this hood out. So the next clip y'all will see will be the install. First thing we're gonna do is take this heat shield off. Popping those off. About to take the hood off with a 13 millimeter socket. Just a kit right here. You get this from AutoZone. He going with the chrome because he got chrome on the car. But I'll leave the link in the description for the glass and come with this template. It also come with some heat resistant silicone but I got some glue that I'm gonna use. You don't wanna just put it on with that, it's just gonna fall off. All right, so if you don't know, the supercharger not directly in the middle of the car, it's over to the left side, so we we'll have to measure. So it's like 22.75 on that side and around 23 on that side. And it's like seven inches to the back measurement. And then it's 19 inches from the front of the supercharger to right here where the hood lock in at, or where the hood meet the uh, seal. So I got the template on here. You don't need that extra paper going around now. Just cut it around as long as you got this line. And I left some extra space to put the blue tape on there. And so you can't tell really, but it's over a tad bit to the left or to the right from this view. But now we gotta do a start cutting. All right, these are two blades I'm cutting with. An oscillating multi-tool with a metal blade. And you got a three inch. A little grinder, pretty much the metal cut off. So yeah, that's what we're gonna cut with. I'm gonna use this to cut the long lines, and I'm gonna use this to go around them curves. Make sure y'all got your goggles, and metal fly back and hit you in the eye. So make sure you protect me yourself. y'all can see got the whole thing cut out and so we're still on here because the brackets underneath we're going to, have to cut those too but you see the benefit of using both tools with that multi-tool you can get around the edges to make your lines better around them curves but yeah let's go and knock the rest of it out all right got the hood flipped over and what you want to do when you're cutting this bracket out you want to cut beyond the cut you made on the top so that way, when you're looking down at the hood from the top of it, you don't see none of the brackets. So you're gonna cut back some, like right around here. Another thing, when you're cutting back, you wanna make sure you ain't got the blade too far down the way you ain't cutting through the hood. All right, got all the brackets up. I was about to pop the metal out of it. All right, got it out. As y'all can see, clean cuts. And then you're just basically gonna take that chrome trim that he got black, if you wanna use black, but you're gonna put them around the edges. I got the hood flipped back over. Now we're about to remove the tape and the paper. So we're going to put the trim on. The seal on there and the heads up. If you're going to go with the chrome, it's a lot harder to put on than the black. It's a lot stiffer. But yeah, y'all can see. It look dope with the hood pins. So now we're about to flip it over and going to put the glass on there. All right, you're about to test fit the glass. Another good reason why you cut back on this bracket 
And so you'll have enough space to sit the glass down in there. If you cut it right at the edge, it's gonna block you from putting the glass in there. And this glass scratch easy too, so you wanna be careful with it. Got the glue on the glass, and you wanna get some weights or something heavy to hold it down, make sure you put a tile or something so the glass don't get scratched up. But I'll show you all the glue I'm using. So I'm not just using the silicone that come with it, I'm using this power grab. And I'm also using this JB Well. This is gray, so you wanna use that kind of toward the edge where you can't see it. And I got the power grab going around it, so basically when I flip the hood over, you'll just see the chrome and the clear. You ain't gonna see none of the adhesive. But yeah, you're gonna wanna let it sit a couple of hours with the weight on top of it, just to hold it down to that glue cure a little bit. It's a view from up under the hood. But it's sitting on the table, so as y'all can see, everything looking good. You don't see no glue. We're gonna let it sit for a few hours and we're gonna flip it over. Also, you wanna go ahead and put this around it. It's that high temp silicone, so while the glue's drying, I'm saying the silicone's going to be drying on, so, so I'm about to go ahead and put this on here. But this come with the kit. This is the only thing that come with it. You have to buy the glue yourself. What you wanna do is take this remaining trim and you're just gonna put it along this back part. So that's the part that you're gonna be able to see once the hood on the car. Got the trim on there. You know, you're ruining people's lives by the same time. Now, my goal is what we're gonna start doing now is putting these cars together. Yeah. And, and, and flip the old school and get, and see, we finna get our, our brokers. You know what I mean? Yeah, like auction, yeah. You know, yeah. That's the same. Though. Yeah, so that, that's what I'm saying, though. We, but we. Y'all putting it in motion. Yeah, but see, we get, we get caught up on how we making the money because, and it's really thinking about like what somebody else thinks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because if you making good money, why do it matter how, what you doing to make it? You paying your bills, paying your Yeah, as long as it's legit. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I think that's what a lot of people, man, like I talk to, to a lot of you know folks, they be, you know, I don't try to give people opportunity. But I'm like, what you, well, that ain't what I want to do. You got to do what, what you have to do until you can do what you want to do. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what you have to do, bro. What you have to do, take care of your family, be successful, and hold your own. I uh, just flipped it over. Man, what you think about it, bro? Look at him. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy customer. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just about to put some clear silicone. Just a little extra protection to make sure no water get down in there. I got the silicone on there. Now we're about to go on and put the hood back on the car. So we got the hood on. Now we're just about to let it down a little bit just to line it up before we tighten the bolts all the way down. And as y'all can see, got the hood lined up. Everything done. Like we said before, that thing looking nasty. Chrome outline. Looking good with the chrome Hellcat wheels. talking, I was telling him really he ain't even got to paint the supercharger because it look good with the rest of the color theme of the car. Let y'all check out the lights. He got a little Hellcat logos going all around it. That's all custom work he did itself. Dang hard. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Stay locked in for the next one. Much love and God bless.